Hi gang, Nate here from flyplugins.com and welcome to this WP Courseware tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about how to import quiz questions to the question pool with a CSV file. It's very simple to do, but I just want to walk through it for you. A lot of you are coming over to WP Courseware from other SaaS LMS products or other LMS plugins. We wanted a simple way for you to be able to get your questions into the question pool for use within your WP Courseware quizzes. So let's get started. If we head over to the training courses menu, we can go down to import export. Now we see that uh, we have an import quiz questions tab here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we have quite a few uh, recommended variables for this file because it's going to be able to incorporate the question type, the correct answers, uh, pretty much everything that you would enter when you create a new question in WP Courseware, you can do it within this uh, CSV file, including things like question tags. So what I'm going to do first is, and I would recommend this for all of you if you're getting started with importing quiz questions to WP Courseware via this method, just download this example CSV file here. That CSV file here with I work numbers. I'm on a Mac, so I'm on numbers, but this could be done with Excel if you are on a PC. We can see that in this template file, we have uh, several columns. We have a quiz question. The actual text uh, for the question can be included here. Next, we have a value of question type. This is very important. Um, you can use one of these four values depending on the type of question you want to uh, add to the question pool. Multiple choice, open-ended, true, false, or assignment upload. Next, we have a possible answers column, and you can see over in the recommended uh, settings on the WP Courseware uh, dashboard page for import export, you can see that this is a value that is only for, um, for multiple choice questions. This is going to be any possible number of answers that you want a student to select from, okay? So that could be A, B, C, D, E. Uh, you would include those here. Those are the choices. Again, that's only for the multiple choice question type. Next, we have the correct answer. Uh, you can include one or more correct answers for your multiple choice questions because WP Courseware now allows for multiple correct answers within a multiple choice question. So just make sure that if you are including your answers here, for multiple choice, make sure you get these, uh, make sure they're exactly the same. So sky, sky, C, C. We have two correct answers out of five choices here. Uh, in the correct answer column, the other question type that we would include uh, a correct answer for would obviously be the true false question type. So in this column for correct answer, we would either use a value of true or false. Next, we have uh, answer type. This column is related to the open-ended question. And uh, you can, again, you can go back to the documentation and the import exports screen to look at the particular values here. But this is basically gonna allow you to set um, how many lines you want to display for that open-ended question, whether it's a single line or several lines uh, to sort of prompt your students as to how much content, how, how much information you want in their answer. Next, we have the hint field. Most of you are familiar with that. If you have used WP Courseware to create quizzes, you can include a hint with each question. So that's gonna display before the student answers the question. If you wanna provide a hint, say this content can be found in unit two, um, you can include that here. Explanation, this is obviously a value that displays after the student submits their quiz and it's graded. Uh, if you choose to provide explanations on why an answer is correct, uh, you can include that information here. Question tags, we cover that in detail in the uh, quiz setup video, but if you want to include question tags for use with things like custom feedback messages or uh, breaking out your student's score by certain topical areas, you can include your question tags here. And the last column is going to be file extensions. This is related to the file upload question type. Depending on which uh, file types you want to accept, uh, you can just include those here. So in the example CSV, we have PNG files, JPEGs, and GIFs. So we're obviously wanting images here, but this could be .doc, .pdf, 
whatever we want. So any file types that you choose to accept for file upload questions, uh, just include those here. So whether you're exporting questions from another LMS, another SaaS solution, or you just want to create a bunch of new quiz questions to add to the question pool and you want to do it this way, uh, just use this file and modify it as you need to. Just keeping in mind that uh, this is probably the most important part of the puzzle here, the question type. From there, you can fill in the necessary values for each question. So now that I have uh, this file on my local desktop, you're going to save this uh, locally. I'm going to flip back over to my WordPress installation where I have a brand new WP Courseware course with no questions. Okay, so we're back in our WordPress admin dashboard here. As we can see, we've navigated to the question pool under the training courses menu, and we have no questions currently within this pool. So what I'm going to do is just head back over to the import export screen, and we're on the import quiz questions tab and I've selected to import this uh, CSV file from my local desktop. So I'm gonna click import questions and I can see that our CSV file was formatted properly because I have a message stating that the import started and it's complete with four questions imported and zero questions which could not be processed. You would find any errors here if you, uh, if you made a mistake with your formatting with your CSV file, that happens quite often. Uh, these various spreadsheet softwares will add a, a trailing column or something like that. So just make sure you get it cleaned up uh, before you import it. And once you do, uh, these questions will go right into the question pool. We can navigate over there now. And we can see that they've, uh, they've all been brought in here. So we have those four questions that were in our CSV file. We have our question type. We have the tags that we included. If we go into the uh, multiple choice question here, now remember we had two correct answers, sky and C. We can see that those are, uh, those are correct. And we have our question tag down here. We have our hint, our explanation. Uh, so this will all uh, import. Then you can simply just head over to your uh, quiz, click edit, go to the manage questions tab and you can add questions from the pool and then they're right there. So it's a really handy way to get a lot of questions into your, uh, your WP Courseware question pool. So as always, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.